Well, my name is Gary Wendell, and I've been with the program here for nine years since its inception. And in real life, I am retired as a school teacher. Started teaching vocational agriculture through the 70s and 80s. And in the 90s uh, and 2000s, I was a school district technology coordinator at West Hope and Newburgh Schools. My name's Mark, and I have a photography studio in downtown Fargo. And then I'm an adjunct teacher at Moorhead State University. I teach uh, mass comm photography. The music camp here likes to cater to all forms of art and digital photography is one of the most recent programs that they've added. So we provide a variety of photographic experiences from portrait photography to macro photography to landscape photography. We have a small computer lab with six computers in it. I take care of mostly the technological side, keeping the computers and printers running and making sure the kids get 10 very nice 8x10 printouts that we display in a photographic show on Saturday morning. And a big chunk of what's happened now with digital photography is that you take the picture but you also have to process it, unlike the old days where you had film and they go to the lab. So we work with them on the computer end to teach them how to crop and color correct and kind of enhance their images. And then we try to work on the physical end to teach them how to take nice photos, how to compose and how to work with the camera for depth of field, how to control their lighting. One of the later projects they like is we uh, do a treasure hunt where we take a series of 10, 15 words like technology or blue or some, you know, we let them pick some words and then we send them out on a treasure hunt to try to take them, do a photographic interpretation of the word. And they really like that project and it's interesting to see what, how people will interpret it because everybody interprets the word a little different or might do it. And that's a, one of the favorite projects that they do. Some of the advantages of working in a camp setting for digital photography is we're in an environment that provides many different types of photographic experiences for the students. And rather than meeting for one hour a day over the period of a semester, we can meet six, eight hours a day and give students a real intense experience and they can build upon what they've learned in the morning right away in the afternoon rather than waiting two weeks down the road. I think that's a real advantage. It's also much more informal so that we're able to get to know the students on a more personal level. 